Hi Darkroom Booth users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to go over some of the basics with using the Prints and the Photos tab. Let's go ahead and get started with the Prints tab. We'll go ahead and click on that tab, and we have a couple prints that we've made. First thing I want to show you is how to uh, save your images to a disk. So we would go ahead and uh, select an image and then click copy or burn files and I have it set to save to my desktop. Let's go ahead and select a folder on my desktop. So now it's saving that one file. If I wanted to save more than one file I can hold down shift to select multiple files or I can also uh, click control A to select all. And then click print, copy or burn files, and then save them to the folder. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the, um, the print queue. From here you can uh, click on your print queue to see what's pending. And this is called the print queue, but it actually handles all of the processing. So this might also be an email job. So if you have uh, a job where you did prints an email but didn't have internet connection, this is actually where they would be pending waiting to process once you have an internet connection. We'll click back to events. The next thing is you can double click on an image. And this image is set up for green screen, but I was actually using a blue background. So I'm going to go ahead and override green and set it to blue. And I can now see the image. This is really helpful when, let's say, you're at a St. Patrick's Day event and people are all wearing green and you're using a blue background. You could then uh, take a picture, set it, and then save to system defaults. And those image, uh, all the images would actually apply with that same setting. We'll go ahead and save changes. The next thing I want to show you is the uh, option to change your thumbnails. Um, it not only changes the size, but it also refreshes the thumbnail. So I can click on it and it would update the thumbnail with the new changes that I have made. Let's go ahead and go over to our Photos tab. and We have pretty much all the same settings. We can click Control all to select mul uh, all the images or Control to select multiple and then uh, copy or burn to uh, a folder. The thing that the Photos tab has that the Print tab does not is the option to open the containing folder. And this is actually pretty helpful. From here I can click Open Containing Folder and it'll pull it up uh, in the folder in Windows. It's very important that you don't go in here and start moving these files around or renaming folders because then Darkroom won't be able to see them. But this also gives us access to the videos folder. And this is where your, uh, your videos, the original video you capture, as well as the updated uh, MP4 that you're outputting is saved. So you can access the video files. So those are just a few um, options that you have within the Photos and Prints tab. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.